you probably have seen recently how Elon Musk showed off the new updated Tesla Optimus robot at the second Tesla AI Day. While many fans were impressed by how Tesla achieved this progress from 2021 to 2022, some experts still have doubts about Tesla being the top player at the artificially intelligent robot game. To clear things out, let's look at the biggest and best AI robot companies and see who is winning at the moment. And before we start the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all Tesla news. Tesla's 2022 AI Day officially was really epic. Initially set for August, the event was moved back to provide Tesla's robot prototype more time to function. Musk said during the company's first AI Day last year that the electric automaker was developing a humanoid robot called Optimus. There was no prototype in question at the time. Instead, Musk was joined on stage by a human dressed as the Tesla bot and dancing in a skin-tight bodysuit. This year, Musk began the Tesla AI Day 2022 with a short level set on expectations. He talked about how Tesla's engineers had completed the creation of this year's show star, Optimus Prime. He said, we've gone a long way, and then stood aside to allow the first version of its robot to stroll out onto the stage. Untethered, the robot came out on stage, extended one arm, and gently waved to the audience. While the robot's skills seemed limited, Musk stated that the robot can do much more than what we just showed you. We didn't want it to fall flat on its face. Unlike the previous year, the robot was not a person clothed in a robot suit. Big win right there. Instead, it was a working robot, although one with exposed wire connections and a little unsteady. It was the first time it had worked without any support cranes, mechanical systems, or wires, Musk stated. The goal of the demo and bot presentation, in which several Tesla personnel conducted a bipedal robotics 101 course, was to demonstrate additional progress. The event was meant to signal Tesla's direction, boost confidence in its future, and hopefully attract the expertise required to advance the program, aka hire more AI and robotics experts. Musk said that the first-generation prototype, dubbed Bumble C, would eventually develop into Optimus. This robot will be able to walk effectively and balance, carry a 20-pound backpack, handle tools, and have a precise grasp for little robots. The Bumble C prototype has a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack, which one Tesla employee described as ideal for approximately a full day's worth of work. Tesla did demonstrate a second bot, which did not have the same capability as the Bumble C, but had a more streamlined design. You could notice that some of the robot's specifications have altered since last year. For example, the bot's weight has increased from 125 to 160 pounds. The continuous illusion and crossover with Tesla vehicles, particularly its autopilot approach, was perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the Tesla Bot Roadshow. Elon stated that it is leveraging its energy products and incorporating those components into the bot, including battery management. The Tesla bot has the same supercomputer that is used in Tesla models. Tesla also uses the hardware and software from its sophisticated driving assistance system, Autopilot, for the bot. Now that was something investors got excited about. The Tesla bot also has a wireless connection, audio support, and hardware-level security measures which the firm claims are essential to secure both the robot and the humans surrounding the robot. The primary issue is whether combining all of these economies in the bot would result in a scaled robot that works. Musk said that the Tesla bot will start tiny after the almost three-hour session, including talks on the company's FSD software and Dojo supercomputer development. We're going to start Optimus with very modest production testing, Musk stated. You know, maybe simply loading a section from the video, he said. Right now, we simply want to make basic humanoids operate properly, and our objective is to get to a viable humanoid robot as quickly as possible. As usual, Tesla's product debuts often elicit a broad spectrum of emotions, from astonishment to wonder and even mockery. At first sight, Optimus did not please a sizable portion of the experts, who questioned the much-anticipated presentation comparisons with robots from other companies were unavoidable. For instance, in comparison to the Atlas, a well-known robot by Boston Dynamics, an MIT spin-off that Hyundai Motor acquired, already has a comparable two-legged robot dubbed Atlas. According to speculations, the robot seems significantly more impressive than Optimus Prime. Atlas is probably the most sophisticated human-like robot now available. It can dance, backflip, and vault significantly better agility than the Tesla bot. 
Despite their similarities, Atlas and Optimus were created with distinct goals. Unlike Optimus, which Musk hopes to commercialize, Atlas was designed exclusively for research reasons. Musk said in his presentation that he hopes to produce a million Optimus devices, lowering the price to less than $20,000. However, given Musk's penchant for overpromising, only time will tell whether Tesla will be able to deliver on the promise on time. The estimate is a significant accomplishment, given as such robots often take years to develop and cost considerably more. Spot, a four-legged Boston Dynamics robot, costs a cool $74,000. Experts estimate that a humanoid robot like Atlas costs at least $150,000. However, it is important to point out the time gap between constructing the two bots. While Optimus was constructed from the ground up in only 8 months, Atlas had taken years to perfect. To begin creating Atlas, the business solely focused on robotics had teamed with the US government DARPA, or the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Gil Pratt, a DARPA program manager, likened the Atlas prototype to a little kid in 2013, stating, A one-year-old child can hardly walk. A one-year-old child falls down a lot. This is where we are at the moment. Because Atlas was designed for research reasons, Boston Dynamics creates demo movies for the robot under controlled conditions, as opposed to Optimus, which must risk the failure of a real-time event. Atlas creators confessed that the firm's robots were designed to follow a sort of choreographed pattern. Atlas, unlike Optimus, is not intended to function in the real world. Tesla's Optimus is powered by the same neural networks that power its vehicles. Tesla said in the presentation that Optimus enjoys a CPU intended to increase energy efficiency, allowing the robot to operate for an entire day on a single charge of its 2.7 kilowatt hour battery pack. On the other hand, Atlas does its feats using high-powered hydraulic actuators. Hydraulics use a lot of power and rapidly deplete batteries. Therefore, Atlas demonstrations are only a few minutes long. Tesla's intentions for Optimus are obviously considerably more ambitious than Atlas's beautiful demonstrations. The centralized computer in the robot's chest will function similarly to a human brain, processing visual data, making fast choices based on sensory inputs, and communicating. Unlike other robots on the market, Optimus will also feature more intricate details, such as more human-like hands with five fingers and opposable thumbs. Its hands will have 11 degrees of movement, less than human hands 27 degrees of freedom, yet the job will still be challenging. Most robot businesses are yet to address the issues of dexterity and dependability. Boston Dynamics robots may be more physically capable, yet even robots like Atlas cannot pick up items with their hands. And to its credit, Boston Dynamics has been transparent about when their robots fail. Let's put it this way. Although Atlas is now the finest robot, other robots with equal skills exist. All robot firms are now unable to replicate the more complex human talents. Tesla promises the most human-like characteristics for the Optimus. Despite its limited powers, Optimus is outstanding, considering its quick turnaround time. Optimus is going to be great in five years mind-blowing in 10 years," Musk stated during the recent event. Tesla's presentation reduces domain knowledge to a simple, rather complicated translation. Bipedal robots traveling pedestrian pathways are a different beast than autonomous vehicle routes and oversimplification of the link does a disservice to the vast amount of research and development effort on the issue. Tesla clearly feels this is a related issue that will result in efficiencies that the market will value as it tackles both concerns. The fact is, there is still a lot of persuading to be done to demonstrate that the connections go deeper than the surface. Not to add that Autopilot confronts its public and regulatory skepticism and scrutiny hurdles. A robot you live with every day in close proximity does not need that level of danger. At least we have seen the real Tesla humanoid robot at the event. And finally, we can compare it to the other alternatives in the market. While this is all great, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. See you in the next videos.